Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your presence. Everybody. Let it ring out. One more time. You 
can remember this. You brought me through the storm. You brought me through the rain. You brought me through all the shame. You brought me through the pain. That's what we say. Who worthy is the Lamb?
Bible. We're not on the clock. We want to open heaven. We want heaven to respond. We're tired of having church with no results. Tired of dancing with no real victory. Out of praise and with no power, we want an open heaven. Take us up, Lord Jesus. Take us to the mountain. 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 We want to hear from heaven. Take us to the mountain. Take us to the mountain. We want to hear from heaven. Take us up. Take us up. Take us up. Take us up. God, we desire your presence more than our necessary food. God, we desire your presence more than church. God, we desire your presence more than anything we can think of. So take us up, Lord Jesus. Take us up, Lord Jesus. Take us up, Lord Jesus. We want a new experience. We want an encounter. We want an encounter. We want an encounter with the third heaven. We're here waiting at the foot of the mountain like the children of Israel. But God, this time, we want to hear you. We're weary in our spirits. 
We're tired in our minds. We can't take no more. We can't go no further without you, Jesus. So take us out, Jesus. Take us out. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody lift your hands up just for 30 seconds. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah, yeah, we need an open heaven. Anybody want it? Anybody want it? Anybody that's watching want it? Anybody that's watching want it? Anybody that's watching want it? Anybody in this room want it? Hey, oh, ha, 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 go check the camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. You may be seated if you can, my God. My God. Open the windows of heaven. Pour us out a blessing. Let everyone have a room to receive. I don't want to have room to receive. When he pours, Fill it up and make me whole. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul.
fill my cup, fill it up and live. Turn your Bibles with me to the book of Deuteronomy. Thank you, Jesus. The book of Deuteronomy, the 33rd chapter. Thank you, Jesus. And the 18th and the 19th verse. And of Zebulun, he said, Rejoice, Zebulun, in your entrance abroad, and you, Issachar, in your tent at home. They shall call the people unto Mount Carmel. There they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness. For they shall suck the abundance of the seas and the treasures hid in the sand. Thank you, Christy. That is the basis of this revival that these two would be instrumental in calling the people of God unto Mount Carmel that they may offer up sacrifices of righteousness for these people will be the people mother come come these people will be the people that will suck the abundance of the seeds and the treasures hidden in the sand. Jesus said in John 16, 7 through 11, how will this happen? How will this come to pass? But I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper, the comforter, the advocate, the intercessor, the counselor, the strengthener, the standby will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him the Holy Spirit to you to be in close fellowship with you. And he, when he comes, will convict the world about the guilt of sin and the need for a savior. And about righteousness and about judgment, about sin and about true nature of it. About sin and the true nature of it. Because they do not believe in me and my message. John 16 and 13. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes... He will guide you into all the truth, full and complete truth. For he would not speak on his own initiative, but he will speak whatever he hears from the Father, the message regarding the Son. And he will disclose to you what is to come in the future. He will glorify and honor me. That's going to be important to you to remember. Because he, the Holy Spirit, will take from what is mine and will disclose it to you. Everything that is mine as Jesus, when the Holy Spirit comes, he will take all of what's mine and he will give it to you. So why don't we have it? Hmm. All things 
that the Father has are mine. Because of this, I said that he, the Spirit, will take from what is mine and will reveal it to you. The problem is that all that we see bears to be repeated about the spirit of the Kaleidoscope Church, the spirit of the Internet Church. And that is the church that knows how to paint an image that I have something, but in reality I don't. It is the church that knows how to break out in a praise break so that it look like I have the victory, but it, that victory is not in my life. It is just in my church dance. The Lord caused this revival because this cycle must cease. Because now we have found ourselves in exile in church. <laughs> And I'm not talking about legalism as to don't do this and don't do that and don't do this and don't do that. I'm talking about us not repeating the same mistake that was repeated in the book of Judges where Samson, where Samson was, was, was being told all of what he could not do but there was not enough emphasis on what he was carrying. And so nobody pushed the issue that what you are carrying, it must be carried with a purification. It must be carried with a holiness. And so he lived reckless with a powerful gift. Mm, 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 mm. So when the revival talks about Call to the mountain. Let's see who he is calling. Let's do a roll call. To the worn out heart, he says, come forth. John 11 and 43, Lazarus. To the wanting heart, he says, come down. As he did Zacchaeus. To the wandering heart, he says, come and see, as he did John and Andrew in John 139. To the willful heart, he says, come take up the cross and follow me. And to the weak heart, he says, come and dine, John 21 and 12. To the worshiping hearts, the invitation was saying, oh, come all ye faithful. But to the waiting heart, the invitation is come up hither. The waiting heart. You cannot be called to a revival or be interested in a revival unless you are in high anticipation of something that the Lord has either promised you or something that you don't have that you know that you should have. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Oh God. And so, and so the waiting heart, the waiting heart people, the waiting heart people are the people that are seeing snapshot, snapshots of what God wants to do for them. But the picture doesn't stay long enough for, he, for us to hold on to it as our reality. And so we think that we're dreaming like I did a few months back where I had what they call a deja vu of me sitting in that back room and I did not recognize it. And while I was waiting to come out, it came back to me. Because see, when there is something that God has for you that is hidden, He'll give you a glimpse so that you can get a desire. He'll show you 
just enough to make you want to come to the mountain. What do you mean by that, Dr. Bynum? Because what he shows you is not available where you are. Neither are you capable of getting that on ground level. This is the kind of stuff that only happens when you are mounted up. I'm not hearing y'all. So if you're watching this revival, and if you are in this building, it's because God El Shaddai is about to do exactly what he said he was going to do. And because you're not getting enough of your deja vus, he has to call a revival to call you up to the mountain so that you don't miss it this time. He said, come up hither and let me show you what is to come, what I'm about to do for you. It ain't over yet. I know you've been through some stuff and I know you done messed up, but it ain't over yet. I didn't count you out. I didn't forget about what I said. I'm not a man that I should lie, neither the son of man that I should repent. It's still yours if you want it. I just want you to come up here and get it. So, 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 what is the struggle? What is the church's struggle? Why of the Lord? Why of the Lord raise me again? What is the problem? And what is my job? Is my job what it used to be? But do I have a new assignment? My God. My God. So the assignment now is to not so much for the preacher to become so real, as they call it, about themselves as it is for the preacher now to become real about the real message. The problem is for us not to do what the book of Ezekiel said and that you bring pillows for the elbows of God's people and tell them that everything is going to be all right. When nobody's revealing to us the process as to how to get access to this mountaintop experience. And so how do I get there? How do I get there? I shouted and it didn't get me there. I spoke in tongues, but it didn't get me there. I danced, but it didn't get me there. What are we missing? What are we missing as the body of Christ? And I, I heard Mother, I heard the Lord. I heard the Lord begin to talk about there must be a mountain call. There must be a mountain call because the plans with an S of salvations with an S in the lower realm of the earth is confusing everybody. And so people have their own saves. They have their own saves. I'm saved this way. And I'm saved that way. And I'm not going to let nobody judge me. And we don't, we don't, we're not allowed to judge you. Because that's the scripture. But I am allowed to judge your fruit. Not hearing nobody talk to me. So all of our saves is getting us a church full of confusion. Put your phone down. All of our, all of our saves are getting us a church of confusion. A church of young people being confused. And so God is saying tonight that the real save can only be revealed when you come to the mountaintop. When you come out of the muck and the mori. When you come out of the opinions of man. When you come out of dead religion. When you come out of dead churches, 
when you come out of hype preachers, I'm not hearing y'all, when you come out of all of that hype and all of that entertainment and all of that flashing lights and smoke and, and all of that trying to take the church to the club, when you come up to the mountain, you would be able to find out the purification of what saved really is. And so what's in trouble is our souls. My soul is in trouble. My soul is in trouble. Because my soul now has a mixture in it. It has a mixture of what I like about my favorite preacher. And what I, what I, what I understand about the word. And so there's a mixture that causes me to float in and out, that causes me to, to vacillate in and out of God and up and down, causes me to be unstable, causes me to speak victory one minute and next minute I'm in a prayer line. My soul is in trouble. My soul is in trouble. What is a soul? What is, what, what is, what is, what is, what is this thing about our souls? The soul, which religion and Christianity deems as being the mind. I want some young people to hear this because when this revival is over with, I hear the Lord calling a, a millennial revival. But there is no mind, hear God tonight. There is no mind without a thought. So the soul of man is the thoughts of the man. There is no movement without this part of you. If this part of you is all over the place, all you can do, all you're capable of doing is in and out and over and side and around and back. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You're doing what they call marking time. I'm here and I'm there and I'm back here and I'm over here and I turn around here and I turn around there and I run over here and I run back over here and I'm back in here and then I'm back in God then I don't know if I'm in God then I love God then I don't know if God is real I hear the Bible I love the word but I don't know if I can trust the scripture I, I see too much I see too much corruption I see too much corruption behind closed doors I see too many people preach with the anointing but in the back they somebody else I'm confused is it God is it not God is, is what, am I in a wrong religion? Am I, listen, listen, have I been deceived? Is all of this fake? Is Jesus real? Is the Bible real? Is that, uh, oh God, was it really inspired by God? Or is this a mess up of man? I don't know what this is because my soul is in trouble and we are messed up. And if we don't correct it, we won't have a church. So he, so he crushed me. He crushed me. So I can be unwanted. So that I can go behind closed doors and find out who he is for real. He gave me an opportunity through the pain to look into the church. And say, and that needs to be corrected, and that needs to be corrected, and that needs to be corrected, and you need to be corrected, and you need to be, uh, you need to be revived and restored and renewed. You need to be turned into a, another man because they made you their prostitute. They made you their whore. They made you come and preach for money. They crippled you from being able to preach what I say. So now you're my prophet. And now unwanted but wanted. Now unwanted but needed. Because our souls are in trouble. My soul is in trouble. 
What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? So, 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 so then, so then, so then the real conflict, the real, the, oh, this is revival. This is revival. This is revival. The real conflict of you, your person, is not people. It's the lingering of thoughts. It's what I've taken in that I cannot push out. That while I'm trying to embrace something new, the lingering thoughts is confusing my future. Even while I'm in church, the lingering thoughts are talking. Now what is the, what is the lingering thoughts of the believer? The lingering thoughts of the believer is the unfinished business with God. That's why you can't sin real good. That's why, that's why you can't sin real good in peace. That's why, that's why while you're doing it, you can hear the scripture. That's why when you're messing up, you can feel the conviction. Because your, 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 your thoughts have been arrested by God. And even though you're acting like a fool, the word is still in you. And there's a conflict that's going on because you have unfinished business with God. And this is the month that we do business with God. This is the month that we tell him yes. This is the month that we return unto God with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our souls. In sackcloth and ashes saying, God, give me another chance. One more chance. One more chance. Because I'm in conflict. I'm, 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 I'm going through something. That's what every believer should be saying right now. I'm going through something. Yeah, what's wrong? I'm going through something. What's wrong? I'm dealing with something. What you dealing with? The conflict of my lingering thoughts of the last thing I heard God say. Generation confused about which is which. What is my soul? What is my spirit? Which one is in trouble? You hearing this song? The soul speaks of the inner life in relation to your experiences. Your soul is your mind, heart, and will, and imagination. It also includes your thoughts and your desires and your passions and your dreams. That's your soul. So then why do people quit if I have all of that? Your spirit speaks of the same inner life in relationship to God. Your faith, your hope, your love, your character, and your perseverance. So when I don't have a soul that know how to relate to God, <laughs> then I don't have faith and hope and love and character and perseverance. I quit. So, so, so. So why are we called to pray? Because prayer creates a passageway for the soul to take a journey to the spirit. No, 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 no. The soul is not fully functioning unless it is operating in purpose. So somebody said, no, my soul is operating. Yes, it is. Because the one thing about the soul, it is susceptible to a spirit. So you're in the purpose of Satan. But you're in a conflict because the purpose of God is still crying out in your life. That's why he says, James 1 and 21. Stay right there. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness and grafted word. The word that gets in. Not the word that falls on an ear. The word that falls in an ear. 
The word that falls in her ear that can hear God. The word that, 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 that the ear that has the ability and the capacity to not only hold what God is saying but execute it. The Bible said now that we know that we have the power of God because we know how to execute what he says. I don't dance in it, I walk in it. Because the trick of it is that I watch sometimes is that the people that don't shout the loudest is the ones that walk in it. And the people that dance all over the building is the people that's got sloppy or goppy. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. So then why does my soul need to be saved? Why do we have revival when he said, save me Jesus? I didn't understand it back in the day when they used to have us on the altar saying, save me Jesus. And we would say it over and 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 over again. And it felt redundant. And it felt redundant to the point that as I got older, I began to say, oh, that old foggy stuff. Oh, that stuff right there that they do, but and, uh, ain't no, ain't nobody doing that. You just, you just, you just grab it and believe it. I didn't understand. I didn't understand. I didn't understand that 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 that, that God had created a method for me to keep saying, "Save me, Jesus," until every time I said, "My soul." Oh God, how they doing this? So then, we in revival. So then. We have not been told on this side of the gospel. Can I pause and say this? The reason why there is a falling away. The reason why young adults are bored in church. The reason why we got to turn it into a club in order to entertain them. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. Because when... When you have only preached part of something and you have not preached all of something, then you would have people living a half of their victory. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't get nobody to say amen right there, but I know what I'm talking about. I don't know my benefits because we have spent years telling us what we could not do. But will somebody please Tell me how to access the mountain. Tell me how to operate in the principles of movement. Show me what it is I'm supposed to do in order to attain the life that God talks about. This life that walks in victory. This life that, that watch this before I can even speak it. God hears my mind and give it to me. Where is that life? And who is going to tell us how to get there? Where is that? Where is that? That at our shadow when we walk by people, they get healed and they get delivered and they get slain out of, under the power of God and you never laid your hands on them. Where is that power when people are healed while the preaching is happening? People are delivered while the whole oh God, while the preaching is happening. Cancer comes out of people's body and they run to the bathroom and vomit it up. Where is that? When our ancestors died, did they take it with them? Did mother boy take it with her? Did pastor boy take it with him? Did mother stacks take it with her? I'm not here in the church. Talk back to me. Did, 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 did G.E. Patterson take it with him? Did Ronald Brown take it with him? Where is it? Who got it? came to make an announcement that it's ours. I came to make an announcement that it is, it is, it is called an inheritance. I came, I came, I came to talk about, talk about the woman. Oh God, I'm talking about the woman that the man of God spoke of 
that, 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 that worked for a wealthy woman and the woman before she died she gave her a piece of paper and said this is all I have and I want you to have it and the woman was so naive she took it and put it on the wall when somebody came to the house and said what is that she said that's a piece of paper that the lady gave me that I used to work for I loved her so much but that's all she left me and when the person got close to the wall they said this woman has left you millions this is her will and this woman was living poor like a vagabond because she had wealth on the wall but she did not read it I'm not hearing y'all how many of us that are walking around dancing and shouting and refusing to lay in prayer in your word you got wealth that you're not reading you got an inheritance that you are throwing away you are wasting it because you want to be entertained and not changed The soul. The soul. The soul. I'm going to tell you how to get access. The soul, the soul has five. Five Hebrew names. Jesus. You better hear this. So where, 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 What part of me is saved? So the first, the first three, for the sake of time, first one, hear this. Be still and hear this. First one is nefesh, N-E-F-E-S-H. The nefesh is, 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 these are, these are breaths of the human spirit. This is breaths of the body. This is, this is the operation of how the body operates. This is going to bless you. It is the living attraction. It is the, the, the sensuousness, the character, the capacity for sensation and feeling and awareness and sense of perception. Listen to this, mother. It's all of this without the involvement of intelligence or mental perception. This is why I do stupid stuff. Because I'm in the nefesh of my life. And I feel it and I like it and I love it and it, I'm attracted to you. But I'm, but, I'm, but I'm operating without intelligence. And I'm operating without a mental perception. Hmm. So I get in trouble with my nefesh. My soul is back out of the will of God because I'm attracted to you and I can't help myself. But I don't have the intelligence to know what's going to happen after that attraction. And so the second one is the ruach, which is the emotional. So now, yes, it is the wind, but it's the wind of the emotion. That's the feeling one. So now I have, now I have the ruach and the emotional. And I have a living attraction and I have a sensation and I have an awareness and I feel what I feel. But I have a sense of perception without intelligence and mental perception. So I'm being led out of the will of God by my feelings. And by my attraction. And the third one, I'll only do three tonight. My neshama, N-A-S-H-A-M-A, the intellectual part of me. So now I am an emotional, sensational, like what I see and think that I have the intelligence 
intelligence to think that that's not going to get me in trouble. And that's when you find the people that say, I know what I'm doing. That's why you find the people that won't listen because they're in their own intelligence. Well, what is it that causes me to get in trouble? It was this. You're in trouble because you have not gone far enough in purification to be able to intellectually discern what it is that you should and should not do. Is he teaching? Don't you tell me I know. Don't you tell me I know. When you're stuck in the three breaths of the basis of man. That's what got Adam and Eve in trouble. They had all of the winds of God and the breath of God in them. Y'all ain't saying nothing. But the serpent knew that there was a there was a nefesh there. There was an attraction, an ability to be attracted to something. And everything that we attracted to, we're not called to. Because the danger of the three is they are a part of your consciousness, which means they can be changed by another person's opinion. That's the people that, that, that's the people that jump and shout in church and say, God, I receive it. Until Mr. Wright called you at 3 o'clock in the morning asking to meet you. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. This is the reason why, if y'all would let me teach this tonight, this is the reason why, when, 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 when God called a meeting about Job, and everybody came, and the Bible said even the devil came, even Satan came, oh, Satan said, do you think he's going to serve you? Oh, listen, all the stuff he got, he said, take away everything he got. Take away, y'all ready? Take away his nefesh. Take away, take away that. Take away, oh God, take away his ruach. Take away his, 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 the shama. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take, take, take all that stuff away. And then God said, it's okay, it's okay. He said, but you can touch everything he got because it's in your power. But do not touch the man himself. Well, somebody said, well, the flesh fell from his bones. What are you talking about? The devil did touch him. No, that's not the man himself. The man himself is do not touch the mind because that part of him have to remain with the ability to decide whether or not he want to serve you or whether or not he want to serve God. Who am I talking to? So when you're talking about what the devil made you do, ah, the devil is not allowed to mess with your power to decide. So if you are in sin, you decided to be there. So, so the, 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 the other two is my, is my Kaya and my Yeshida. When I, when I operate, listen please, when I, op this is revival, Ramba Kesso. When I operate in those three without a God attachment, then I, I lose my, Kaya, and I lose my Yoshida, I lose my Kaya, which is my, which is my vision for life and my purpose. And I lose my Yoshida, which is my oneness with God, my total essence of who I really am that's connected to God. I lose the ability to walk in the supernatural. I don't have that. As long as my nefesh and my ruach, you don't hear me, and my neshama is disconnected from God then I lose my ability to, 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 to walk up in that kind of victory. Oh, y'all ain't saying that. I can't get nobody, I can't get nobody to say nothing. I can't get nobody to talk back to me. I wish, I wish I had somebody to say something. And see, and see, this is the reason why, this is the reason why Jews pray three times a day. They pray three times a day, one time for my nefesh. The second time they pray, they pray for their ruach. And the third time they pray, they pray for their neshama. Y'all, I want my intelligence to be submitted to God. I want my emotions to be submitted to God. Oh, you don't, I want my attraction to want what God wants. I'm not, why we don't pray at all. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me, Lord Jesus. Somebody better say something. 
uh, and see and see this is why we need uh, we need a soul that is filled with the Holy Spirit we need a soul that has to be filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Why? Because then what happens? Uh, listen, listen, and so and, and so now I need Dad, how am I doing? <laughs> now I need my ruach, the wind that is in me. Hold on. The the emotion that is in me. I need that affection to be connected. With the Hakadesh, with the Hakadesh, I need it to be connected. Oh God, with the Hakadesh, with something that is sacred. The Hakadesh is, is sacred and, and, and holiness. Uh, uh, so then the Ruach Hakadesh together is, is connected, which means this that the life of the soul of a man can live eternally while having the divine ability to guard what is sacred and holy within him while he is still on the earth. Okay, 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 okay. I, 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 I'm, 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 and so I need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So in order to, my nefesh, which is the breath that runs also in my blood that causes me to be a person that they say is alive. My, <laughs> my, num, my, 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 uh, 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 my, my ruach now, my wind of my emotions, need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit so that my emotions can turn from being diabolical to sacred. Okay. We're in revival. We're in revival. We're in revival. I, 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 I keep going off in my flesh because my ruach doesn't have a Hakadesh. I thought I had it because I spoke in some tongues. I thought I had it because they said Shata da da Baha. I thought I had it because I felt goosebumps go up and down my arms. I thought I had it because I cried and when they prayed for me, I was slain out. No, no, no. The only proof that I got it is when my ruach is connected with my Hakadesh. And now what I feel is the sacredness of God. What I feel is that I don't want to come out of the sacredness. What I feel is that I thrive with everything I got to be holy. What I feel is holiness is now my priority. Oh God, what I feel now is I got to be saved and sanctified. I got to be set apart. What I feel now is that I'm seeking the Lord with my whole heart, with my mind, my body, my soul, and my spirit. What I am feeling now is separated from sin. What I'm feeling now is I hate what God hates and I love what God loves. What I am feeling is my hatred for sin. Not because I hate it, but my hakadash is so sacred that it can't, it can't tolerate it. Anybody want a new baptism? He, 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 he said, he said, listen, 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 listen. This is the Ruach Hakadesh. This is, this is the other part of the gospel. This is the fortitude we gain when we have the Ruach Hakadesh the Holy Ghost of God. We have the breath of God of life and we have the breath of God of feeling. But this is why we have to ask for the holy breath now. <laughs> Everybody got God in them. Yeah, but, 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 but you have a, you have a nefesh and a ruach and you have a, uh, uh, a neshama that's, that's disconnected from the holy breath. 
And so, so because you are a soul that thrives on spirit, when it's not the spirit of God, there's only one other spirit. And the soul needs a spirit to operate. It ain't never spiritless. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me up in this place. It is not spiritless. It is not, there is no such thing as I don't have a spirit. Uh -huh, no, 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 no. The question is what spirit is leading you? So if you're not completely submitted to God and filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you're being driven by another spirit. Your soul is connected to something else. That's why when I want to do good, evil is always present within me. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. Every time I try to do it right, I keep going back to wrong. Because my soul has not been completely consumed by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. I don't know if y'all understand what God is saying. We're going back to a sanctified church. We're going back to holiness. Oh my son. And I'm not talking about long dresses. I'm talking about purification. I'm talking about your mind is holy. I'm talking about your conversation is holy. I'm talking about the way you walk, the way you talk, the things you do, the stuff you tolerate, the things that you agree to and what you disagree to. We're going back to what saved really is so that you can access promise. I don't have it because it comes with the, the, the Ruach Hakadesh comes with comes with fortitude fortitude mother it is mental and emotional strength in facing difficulty and adversity and danger or temptation and you face it with courage you ain't got no Holy Ghost don't be shamed because God will baptize you tonight he'll baptize you <laughs> Why, why is this important? Why is this important? And I close with this. Why, 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 why is this important? Because, because Ezekiel 18 and 20 said, The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Not you shall die. But your soul is dead in a living body. That's why we in that we in that state now. If somebody said, "Come on and worship God," and we can't, because you're a dead man. It ain't no such thing as I don't praise God that way. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. No, you are a you are a prime example of somebody whose ruach doesn't have Hakadesh. Because the Holy Ghost is revealed with fire. I'm not hearing y'all. And that's been my prayer for the last six months. God set my soul on fire. Set it on fire. Set it on fire. I don't want to be a quiet Christian. I don't want to be a waver. I'm not hearing y'all. I want Raka Sora Mahasaya. The rabbi says that it is only a powerful person in God that has the ability to hear the sound of his own voice praising God. Who am I talking to? Because when the sound of your own voice began to praise God, it began to shake hell off of your life. It began to shake hell out of your spirit. Who am I preaching to? I've got to open up my mouth in this revival. I cannot be a person from the Christian center. I need to be somebody from a Holy Ghost church that's filled with fire. I see it and I saw it that God get me to take some young people out of the whole and he get me to set them on fire.
Oh, bah, 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 I see ya. He said, because they done seen enough. Uh, and now they coming after me with everything. Uh, they see the times. Uh, because this is Issachar. Uh, the discernment of times. Uh, I see the times. Uh, and this ain't the time uh, for some little quiet prayer. Uh, this ain't the time uh, for some little worship. Uh, this is the time uh, that the worship and the prayer becomes violent. Uh, this is the time uh, that it becomes aggressive. Uh, this is the time uh, where we let the devil know. Uh, in our praise, I'm coming after my soul. I'm coming after my soul. I'm not going to stop praising until I feel God in my soul. I'm not going to stop praising until I'm holy. I'm not going to stop praising until I feel somebody say yes. Somebody tell him yes right now. The soul, the soul that sinneth, it dies. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? mean? It, It dies out of, listen to this, Adam and Eve was in a transcendent realm. They were in a realm of no limitations. They were in a realm where everything was accessible to them. They were in a realm, but they were one with God. But when they sinned, they were ushered out of the transcendent realm and they became humans. They became humans trying to get a spiritual experience. But when Jesus came and he died for your sins, he made you spiritual, having an earthly experience. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. And this the realm the devil don't want you in. Transcendence. What does transcendence mean? It means this, the power to go beyond what is normal. I can't get nobody to talk to me. Transcendence is the power to go beyond what is normal. What mean when I hit that kind of realm, I'm gonna do stuff I've never done. When I hit that kind of realm, that's gonna cause people to ask me how did that happen. When I hit that realm, I'm gonna know stuff that I never read. I'm gonna see stuff that I've never seen. The power of creativity is gonna be revealed to me. When I hit that realm, miracles will be accessible to me on a daily basis. It won't be a special event. It will be average. It will be the way I live. Who am I talking to? Somebody better praise him right now. I don't know who God talking to tonight but if you in this building if you're watching by television God will accept your soul he will accept your soul he will accept your soul on fire somebody shout set my soul on fire
we shall fire you don't know what's happening but why are you praising God he taken your soul to another realm he taken your soul to another dimension you better open your mouth let me help you let me help you let me help you let me help you I got a I got a burden I got a burden Dr. Biden why you got a burden I got I got a burden it says here, it says here, it says here, I got a, I got a burden. So, so we're learning the, we're learning the access, the, 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 the principles of movement. So, 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 so here it is. Somebody said, well, I, don't, I ain't got to have all that. I ain't, I ain't got to have no tongues, I ain't got to have, I ain't got to have no fire, I ain't got to feel none of that. Well, let me help you with something. So we're going through this thing. We're going through this thing these four days. And so what is this? What is God talking about? He's talking about that, that, that back when the tabernacle was being established, and they took a sacrifice and they put it on the altar, the brazen altar. And the brazen altar burned up the sacrifice. And when it burned up the sacrifice, that's when the Lord accepted their prayers because God smelled something burning. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. And that's why you can't have no soul that ain't got the Holy Ghost in fire. You can pray if you want to, but God got to smell something. He got to smell something in your praise. He got to smell something in your shout. He got to sniff and say that smells like somebody that have presented themselves up a living sacrifice of holy 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 and acceptable under God y'all better praise him you're looking at me like I'm talking crazy I need to set you on fire I need to set you on fire Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, see, I, 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 I close with this, I, I, I want you to hear something that's very prophetic, I want you to hear something that's prophetic, the soul, the soul is a flame of God, listen, 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 what kind of example can I give you, I can give you this example, that the soul is compared to Listen to this. Like a candle. When you light a candle, the flame immediately, when you light a candle, the flame don't go to the ground. The flame goes up. But what keeps it from going up is a wick. It's holding it down. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. See, let me help you with something about the soul. The soul, the soul has something in it called a seek to go up. The soul came down, but the minute it came down, it, it, it constantly have a craving to go back up. Listen, and this is the reason why when you look at people, you look at people, this is the reason why people that refuse to be sanctified and people that refuse to be holy, they try to go up the wrong way because up is what they're striving for because the soul keeps saying, I want to go up. The soul keeps saying, I want to be somebody important. 
the soul keeps saying, I want to be somebody great. So listen, I'm not going to purify to get it. I'll just do whatever I can to get it. I'm not hearing y'all. I'll do whatever I can to get it. I'll, I'll listen, listen. I'll lie, I'll cheat, I'll sleep my way to the top. It doesn't matter because why? Why? We're looking at that person and we're saying they're corrupt, but that person is operating with their soul because the soul want to go up. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. This is the reason why when the altar, uh, when the brazen altar was lit, the sacrifice went up and God accepted it. And that's the reason why when they got to the altar of incense, the fire went up and the smoke from what was burning, it went up. And that's why your praise got to burn from your soul. And that's why you got to present your body a living sacrifice. Everything about you got to sound like smoke. It's got to feel like smoke. It's got to smell like smoke. I don't know how you are dead Christian. Who am I talking to? Y'all ain't saying nothing up in here. I wish I had a church in here. Ah, God is looking for the people that want to go up. That want to go up in him. God is looking for the people that want to be purified. God is looking for the people that want to be holy. The soul, the soul wants to be saved. So, the soul, that's what the, mm, yeah, Lord, that's why we don't know nothing about. There is nothing that you can present to God that if it's not a sacrifice, it's not received. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. See, that comes in, that comes in the play when you, when you, when you, when you praise God. It has to be, for it to count. Y'all ain't hearing this. For it to count, it's got to be a praise you don't feel like giving it. I can't get nobody to talk to me. That's why when you, when you, when you travail in prayer, it's got to be a prayer that says, I don't feel like praying. But I'm going to, I'm going to present myself a living sacrifice. So that even when I get in prayer, if I don't feel like praying and I don't know what to say, the fact that I just laid myself on the altar of God, he smell me even if he can't hear me. Or oh, somebody better open up your mouth and give God a praise up. out of your spirit. He smells me even though he don't hear me. I don't know what to say, but I'm here. Uh, <laughs> When it's a sacrifice, I've never seen a lamb while it's being sacrificed talk. You don't hear me. That's the greatest prayer. The greatest prayer is when you prostrate yourself. The greatest prayer, oh God, the greatest praise is when I don't feel like praising him till I don't even feel worthy, till I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know why I'm here. I feel so messed up in my spirit. But I'll praise you anyhow. I'll glorify you anyhow. I'll give you glory anyhow. I just want you, God, to save my soul. Jesus somebody need to say save me Jesus you're watching my internet tell them to save you there's somebody that's watching that you want to come back to God you want God to save your soul oh, oh save us Lord save us Lord save us Lord
us from ourselves. Save me from my nefesh. Save me from my ruach. Save me beyond my neshama. Save me, God. Oh, oh, God. Save me beyond the neshama. Save me beyond my intellect. Save me, God. Save me till you save me over into my kaya. Save me until you save me over into my purpose. Oh, somebody, I feel it in here. Somebody better reach for him. Somebody better reach for him. Somebody need to come to this altar. Somebody need to come to the altar. And say, save me, Lord. Save me from my neshama, God. Save me from my intellect, God. Save me, Jesus. Somebody that's watching, tell him to save you. Save me, God. Until I go over to my kayaya. Save me, God. Until I go to my purpose. Save me, God. Until I know my purpose. Save me, God. Until I know my true core. Save me, Jesus. I'm a preacher, but save me. I'm a preacher, but save me. I'm an evangelist, but save me. I'm a bishop, but save me again. I'm a prophetess, but save me. Oh, God, save me. Save me, God. Save me, God. Don't let me miss my Shishida. Don't let me miss my Yoshida. Don't let me miss my Yoshida. Don't let me miss my Yoshida. Don't let me miss my Kaya. Oh, God. Cry out to him. Cry out to him. Cry out to him. Cry out to him. God save me. Save me. Until I know when to come to the altar. Save me. Save me. Until I know that I'm not that saved. Save me. Until I know that I'm not all that you want me to be. But after hearing this message. Save me. Until this word is birthed in my soul. Save me. Until it's birthed in me. Save me uh, until I'm not churchy anymore. Uh, save me uh, until I'm not religious anymore. Uh, save me. Uh, save me uh, until you give me back my prostration. Uh, save me uh, until you give me back my knee work. Uh, save me. Uh, save me, God, uh, until I'm broken in my spirit. Uh, until my tears come out of my soul. Uh, save me, Jesus. Uh, I want to be saved. Uh, I want to be saved. I want to be made whole. I want to be made whole. I want to be made whole. Save me, God. Because there are some hidden things that I don't even know is there. You said, who can discern a man's heart? Only the spirit can. Go down today. Go down tonight. In the depths of my spirit. Go way down, go way down, go way down tonight, go way down. I'm all God, I'm under Lord, I'm under Lord, the spirit of Issachar. I can see the times, I can see Jesus, you're on your way back. Don't leave us like this. Don't leave us like this. Don't leave me like this. I don't know about nobody else tonight, God. But don't leave me like this. Don't leave me like this. I don't want to preach. And I myself as a castaway. Oh God, turn the searchlight on me. Anything you find in me that shouldn't be, take it out. Take it out. Take it out and cleanse me. Take it out and purge me. Purge me with hyssop that I may be clean. Wash me that I may be whiter than snow. Rabbi Hosiah, who's saying save me? Post it now. Post it now. Just say save me, Lord. I see you. I see you, Ladre. Save me, Lord. Save me, Lord. Save me, Lord. Save me, Lord. We should be saying that. Save me, Lord. Save me, Lord. Father, we're in a drought. We're in a drought. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of the authority of Jesus Christ, 
and all that he is holy spirit take it and give it to us give us all that he is give us all that he is give us all give us all that he is we want it 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 Oh, we want to be saved. 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 We want to be saved. We don't want to be lost in the church. We don't want to be in exile in the church. I don't want to be in exile in the pews. Somebody better cry out to him. Somebody let him smell you. Everybody cry out to him. Everybody cry out to him. While you're crying out, everybody that's connected to you is getting the warning sign of salvation. Your family, your brothers, your sisters, your uncles, your aunts, they're getting the clarion call by your cry. They're in you. He called you in this building because they're in you. Say by your power. Say by your power. Say by your power. Say by your power, God. Only you can save us. 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 Only you can save us, God. But we're so used to sitting in church. You better discern the time. This is not the hour to sit in church and rock. You better ask God to save you. You better ask God to save you. Spirit within me, Jesus. Can I pray for you? God to save me. 
Jesus, save me. 
me, change me, wash me, cleanse me, purify me, Jesus. Save me, change me, wash me, feel me. Do it over and over again. Save me, save me. Jesus, save me, Jesus, feel me, cleanse me, God, wash me, Jesus, with your blood, with your blood, with your blood, with your blood, save me, purify me, purify me, purify me. Wash me, God. Wash me, God. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Wash me, Jesus. Wash me, Jesus. Wash me. Jesus. Jesus. Wash me, Jesus. Save me, Jesus. Clean me, Jesus. Clean me, Jesus. Do it all over again. Do it all over again. I need it, I need it. I need it, I need it. I need it, I need it. Yes, God. I need the saving blood. Hey. Yes, Lord. I need it. Your saving blood. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for saving me, Jesus. Thank you for washing me, Jesus. Thank you for washing me, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I need it, I need it. I need it, I need it. Hey. I need it, I need it. Yes, I need it. Yes, I need it. A fresh touch of God. Hey. A fresh touch of God. Oh, Lord. Yes, I need it. 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 And I can't make this journey unless you save me. I can't make this journey unless you purify me. Save me. Save me. Save me, Jesus. Oh, Lord.
better praise him. You better praise him. You better praise him. Hey. You better give God praise. Oh. It's falling in your house. It's falling in your house. It's falling in your house. Fire. Falling in your house.
gotta go. Night one. Night one. Save me, Jesus. Night one. but don't eat nothing. <laughs> he said, not only am I saving, but I'm restoring gifts. You didn't hear me. I'm restoring gifts. I'm restoring gifts. I'm restoring gifts. I'm restoring anointings. I'm giving you back vitality. It's not age that you're feeling. It was a lack of disconnect of your nefesh and your ruach and your namashama from the ruach hakadesh. And he said tonight, I'm restoring vitality. I don't think y'all heard that. I'm restoring vitality. Vitality even in your mind. Oh, ha, show ya. I'm calling your mind to go deep sea diving. To get every promise, every prophecy I ever spoke to you. And if you can believe that, and watching my television and start praising God. He said, I'm restoring your belief in what I said. And he said, but this time, it's getting ready to come soon. It won't be delayed. You better praise him. I gotta go. I gotta go. Aramaka sota da da behi sota da da behi sota. I gotta go. Rejoice! It's a call. And Zebulun. Rejoice! Zebulun in the sea. It's a car. Let me help you with what he's saying. He said, it's a car in your tents at home. So y'all that's watching at home, rejoice. Those that are in this building, rejoice. For they shall call the people unto the Mount Carmel.
gathered the people unto Mount Carmel. And there, where we are right now, they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness. For they, us, you that are watching, for they shall, I want you to, I want you to put your mind, I want you to close your eyes for a minute, and I want you to imagine yourself now that you've been praising God, that somebody just gave you a big, tall, big gulp from 7-Eleven, and they gave you the big straw. I want you to imagine yourself sucking a drink. He said, you shall suck like that from the treasures of the seas. Y'all ain't saying that. You shall suck the abundance, the abundance of the seas and the treasures. What was once hidden to you? God is letting people right now walk all around it. God is letting people walk all around it. But as you praise God during this revival, you going you to go to shout one night and the sand going to give way. And you're going to dance yourself into a treasure. Y'all ain't saying that. I believe this thing. You going to... I'm going to say shout and you're going to open your mouth and shout and the ground going to give way. And you're going to find yourself in a treasure, in the sand. Y'all ain't saying that. I just want some sanctified people. Cause hypocrites don't believe this. You gotta be a believer to believe this. Who am I talking to? That's why, touch a neighbor, said neighbor. No praise wasted. Touch somebody else and say neighbor. No praise wasted. Tell them, say every time I praise, I'm gonna find a treasure. Praise. He gonna send angels across the waters, and he gonna connect me with what's overseas that's waiting for me. Because we're in the month of the twins, and I shall have double. Somebody praise it. I gotta go, Jesus, I gotta go. Three more nights. And I feel just like I didn't even preach. Did you hear me? I feel like I didn't preach. Because he said that we would, we would transcend. We'd be, we would go beyond normal. Normal says, at 64, I should be tired. But I'm transcending because I believe God. I believe God. I got it on. Let me tell you something. The first revival that God called in this building. Because he said, we are standing right now under your feet. You are standing on the grounds of a breakthrough.
You are standing in the divine shift. The Lord has brought me out into a wealthy place. But he told me to bring you with me. You, you, you're not hearing that. You're not hearing that. You better praise him. I said he told me to bring you with me. Everybody that's praising him right now, Lord, they with me. Do it for them because they with me. already showed me he already showed me you've already shown me 5 a.m. 5 a.m. prayer in this building he's already showed me that they're gonna be in the garage that they're gonna be in the hallway and that 5 a.m. prayer is gonna turn this city upside down. And just, just for the record, just for the record, God has not called me to pastor. I'm not after nobody's members. But when God get through with them in this building, they coming back to your church and God gonna set your church on fire. No, I'm not a church. I'm a clarion call. I'm a clarion call. And he showed me that since most churches in Atlanta have church on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, he said, I want you to shift it to Thursdays and call it Thursday Night Breakthrough. Because I ain't trying to keep nobody from going to their prayer meetings and going to their Bible studies. But every Thursday night when we announce the date, it's going to be breakthrough. We're not coming in here for Bible study. We're coming in here for breakthrough. Somebody said breakthrough. No, somebody said breakthrough. We're coming in here to praise him until we lose our voice and they come back. nobody talk to me I'm not hearing nobody talk to me till I lose my voice and it comes back till I lose my voice and God bring it back with power who is God talking to we pray until we travail till everybody is on the floor we pray until God shake this city we pray until every spirit of perversion come under submission we pray until God set pastors on fire we pray until prayer meetings are Sunday morning service turns into a revival. We're praying because we want the fire to fall in Atlanta. Somebody! First of all, ain't nobody got to get nervous. Because if I was going to pastor, this room couldn't hold them. Mm -mm, he ain't calling me to do that. Not now, not in the future. He's calling me to lay a new foundation, a new fire, a new desire in his people. So they can go back to their churches and change would come. Everybody that's watching. I know what he's saying in this season, where we are right now. Everybody, when God gave me that word, 
people began to obey him. I think everybody know me by now. I just left, where was I at? New Orleans. The fire of God fell. The power of God fell. And the Lord used me mightily. And he said, don't touch the altar. Pastor came back begging and said, it's $25,000. You sure? I said, no. No. Because when God is saying it, he's saying it. In these four days, we are in the double. And you watch it. You can, you can think about it if you want to, but I want you to remember the last time that God called a true prophet that prays to sit, to sit on the clarion call of Issachar and Zebulun. It's because God is doing something that he has never done before. El Shaddai Adonai is in operation. Why would the Lord open up a door like this and stand me in it in the month of Issachar, in the month, and then call the revival in the month of Zebulun? It's because I'm, I'm doing a new thing and a mighty thing. And mother, the reason why the people are not seeing the miraculous because they are not being preached to the level of transcendence. Jesus. They are listening from the realm of Nefesh and Nefesh and Ruach alone and Neshama alone does not activate faith without Ruach Hashadesh. And so we can, be, we can be intelligent about what we hear, but not moved in faith by what we hear. And so now we are a smarter generation, but dummies in faith. When I speak and I give you what God is saying, the motive is what God wants to do at that moment and in that hour. And when we start all this contemplation stuff, we lose the victory the minute, we lose the victory the minute we turn our minds and leave the Ruach HaKadosh and step back into Nefesh with our intelligence. And we lose the opportunity for God to transcend us to the supernatural that abides on the mountain. When he gave me that, that during this month, 50 people would show that $1,006. He's speaking to a people that he said no longer Will you keep coming here and miss it? The church has missed it. We do the right thing at the wrong time. We do the right thing in the wrong season. And we miss the season. And wonder why. And right now, Jews are sowing like crazy. And we're wondering why they are wealthy. Because Issachar was used to write the biblical calendar. They were so ingenious in a realm that they were able to write the Hebrew calendar that marks things that are happening right now. So do you honestly think they are missing about Zebulun? Do you honestly think they are missing about Issachar? 
do you honestly think they are missing about this month? They are not. They are not. And we are joint heirs. And I won't miss my season. And I won't stop laying out this tabernacle. And I won't stop preaching about prayer shawls. And I won't stop ministering about prayer kits. And I won't stop teaching us what the seat seat on the end of a prayer shawl is. And I will not stop talking about the Ark of the Covenant and the brazen altar and the brazen laver. I will not stop talking about it because it is the manifest, is a manifest diaphragm of Jesus Christ himself. And he said, go back to the basics and tell the people that their souls need to be saved. And he's saying it. He said this month, right now, you're watching. Some of you all are in this building. He said, when I tell you to give the $1,006, I'm talking to you because this is your season. This is our season. This is our season. I'm sowing like never before. And guess what? I want you to understand something. That thing hit my spirit, mother, when he said, if what you do for me is not a sacrifice, it is not received. He's talking to somebody that's watching. He's talking to, and he's not talking to people that can't afford it. He's talking to people that have it. And God said, you're releasing it in the right season, in the right moment, in the right month, in the right time. And you're releasing it at the voice of my prophet that pray for real. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. You're releasing it at the right time. And the Lord said, do it now. You're watching and the presence of the Lord is in your house. I know it. The spirit of the Lord is in your house, which means the spirit of truth is there, which means divine obedience is there. You're in this building right now. You said, Dr. Barnum, you're talking to me too. I want you to come down to this altar. He's talking to me to sow $1,006 because I have to. I have to tonight. I have to be obedient to God. You're watching. You're watching. You're watching. The Lord said, do it now. He said, do it now. And he told me, do not back up on this. Do not back up on this tonight. Because there are people that are watching. You've been waiting for this breakthrough. You've been waiting for God to do something supernatural for you. But guess what? You're in the right spirit. And then you don't have it. And then you have it. And you're not in the right spirit. The atmosphere is not right. And the Lord said, divine alignment is finally in this building. Divine alignment is here. It is the right month. It is the right time. It is the right season. And you got it. And because you got it, he allowed you to have it in this season. Because no longer will you miss God. No longer will you miss the timing of God. The Lord said, it is I that have aligned you up this time. So that you don't miss it. So that you don't miss it. Whoever you are, post it now. I'm sowing it, Dr. Bynum. I'm sowing it. I'm sowing it. I'm sowing it. Everybody else in this building and everybody that's watching that's got $66 anywhere on you, this is the month of the double. Sow it now. You're watching tonight and you're saying, Dr. Bynum, I'm not one of those people that God has called to give $1,006. But I'm going to sow this $66 because I'm in the month of double. I'm in the month of Issachar and Zebulun. Do it now. Do it now. And then post it. I just sold. Yes, Jody Johnson, I see you. $1,006. I know what I'm talking about. The Lord is doing something different. You're in the right time. You're in the alignment of God. You're in the alignment of God. You sow it the $66. Post it. Post it. Post it. Yes, Lord. He said there's 35 people. 35 people that need to do it tonight. $1,006. You can get money back, but you can't get the moment in the alignment of God back. Do it now. Do it now. You sow in that $66. Do it now. 
Pamela, I see you. I showed 66. Yes, post it. I need to connect and call your name. I need to connect and call your name. Oh my God. She's putting the names up on the screen as well. But I want you to post it so I can see it quickly. Yes, yes, yes. Be obedient. Be obedient. Just for my soul ministries. Cheryl Oliver, I see it, 66. Jaquette Simpson, 66, I see you. Karen Richardson, 66. Alexis Johnson, 66. Teresa Brooks sold 66. Obey him. You can get money back, but it's the divine alignment. Lynn Spurlock, I just sold 1,006. It's the divine timing of God. It's alignment, people. It's the alignment. Raquel Pinnock, 66. It's the alignment. It's the alignment. It's God's timing. It's when God say do it. Soroya Bird, 1,066. Alicia, 1,066. Lynn S, 1,066. Rhonda, 66. Maria, 66. Yolanda, 66. It's the divine timing of God. It's the divine timing of God. We in alignment. And the Lord said to me tonight, do not back up. Marnita Madden, I sold 66. Jasmine Marie, 66. He said, do not back up. Myra Romero, 1006. He said, do not back up because I'm ready. I'm ready to do it for them. Alexis C, 66. I'm ready to do it for them. They will not miss another season. If they hear the voice of the prophet, they will not miss another season. And there'll come a time that I used to be afraid to say the voice of the prophet because it's been mishandled, but I didn't mishandle it. So I will quote that scripture. I will quote that scripture. Hear the prophet and you shall prosper. Because I'm in divine alignment. I'm not a money hungry prophet. I give away more than I ever keep. And what comes in, I use it for the kingdom. And everybody around me can testify of that. Errol Lucas, 66. Angela Prince, 66. Come on. Be obedient to God. This is your season and your time. We are in the divine alignment to Wanda Worlds, 1006. He said 35 people would do it. 35 people. 35 people would obey him. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Lisa Smith, 66. Michelle Cooper, Michael, 66. Suka Blaine, $6.66. And God do it for them right now. Do it for the widow's might right now. Do it because they applied a six in it. Do it because they moved in faith. Do it because they had and they gave whatever they had. Oh God, oh God. Michelle Cooper, 66. Kristen Patterson, 66. Brenda Dornbush, 66. God, I'm obeying you. I'm obeying you because I know I'm in the right timing. I know for once and for all, I'm not missing God. You can get money back. You can get money back. But this month won't come for another year. And the, and the Jews do it now because the rest of their year is blessed. The rest of their year, they walk in supernatural blessings. And we will do the same thing. We will no longer be the Gentiles eating crumbs and eating like peasants. But we will walk in the wealth of the Lord. Oh, somebody begin to worship him. Somebody begin to worship him. Somebody begin to worship him. The Lord told me not to back down from this tonight. When my soul get free. When my soul get free. When my soul get free. Levy Sparkle 66. Yes, Lord. Rosa 66. Dorothy Smother 66. Tara 66. Roxanne 66. Ella 66. Brenda 66. Reba 66. Sean 66. Michelle 66. No, I would not back up. Blossom 66. God, I give you praise. God, I give you praise. God is love international ministry, $6. God, do it for him right now. God, do it for the widow's might. God, do it because they stretch their faith. God, do it for them tomorrow. God, do it for them tomorrow. God, show them a mystery tomorrow. Show them a miracle tomorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak it as your prophet. Show them a breakthrough tomorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus, take that $6 and multiply it. In the mighty name of Jesus, Somebody open up your mouth and give God a shout. 
Open up your mouth and give God a shout. Open up your mouth and give God a shout. Truth Speaker TV, $6.66. God, show them a miracle. Oh, by sick, hey, by show them a miracle. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody bless him. Somebody bless him. Somebody bless him. Somebody bless him. The pandemic damaged us. The pandemic caused us not to be people of faith. The pandemic caused us to think about what we have in our hands and not the God we serve. Everybody stand to your feet. I feel the glory of God. 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 Somebody bless him. Somebody bless him. Oh God. Oh God. Cash App is JBI Act 33. PayPal is JBI Act 33. Or Juanitabanam.com. You don't stand in the miracle like this. You don't stand in the miracle like this. There's hmm. one thing about God that I love. He doesn't give us anything that we can't afford. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Hmm. Touch three people and say she can afford to be here. Touch somebody else and say wealth follows her. Touch somebody and say that's why she traveled and preached and give all the money away. I said touch somebody else and tell them that. And then turn back around and tell them that you can track her record. Say so you can track her record. You can track her record. God, we thank you. God, we thank you. We thank you for this revival. We thank you because you said, who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. Who shall, who shall come up to the mountain? Oh God. I hear this little song as we leave. Wash me three people and tell them a call to the mountain and father we thank you for your people tonight we thank you for your people Janice Worlds and Myra 1066 Christian 66 Bakari 66 Marilyn 66 Vancilla 66 Joella 66 and father we thank you for your people and we thank you for your presence and we thank you Lord that we are in divine alignment with you we give your name praise for it tonight. We praise you from every avenue, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for making us people of faith. We thank you, Lord, for making us people of faith. I thank you, Lord, for making me a woman of faith. Thank you, Jesus. 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 And Father, the people that are watching online, Father, do what you are doing with me and prove yourself to these people. Prove yourself to these people. <laughs> prove yourself to them like you have proven yourself to me. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Somebody lift your hands up in this building. Lift your hands up in this building. And we don't say amen because the revival is not over. And if you are a person that the Lord has restored you tonight, I want you to post that I've been restored. If the Lord has restored you tonight and you've been watching, I want you to post I've been restored. I've been restored. I've been restored. Post that. I've been restored. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I've been restored. I see you, Veronica. I've been restored. Oh, somebody just praise it. I'll see you tomorrow night at 7.30. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.